guys. Uh, I just wanted to show you something that I've been working on for the last couple of weeks. Uh, something, some of the new models that I've painted, some of the models that I've repainted, and some of the scenery that you haven't seen before on this channel. Um, first of all, I just wanted to say that I know that I haven't been posting uh, on this channel for a while. That's because I've been trying to boost, uh, boost up my channel, the Polish uh, only channel, which is Grot Orderly, PL at the end. Uh, obviously for you it's it's nothing uh, of, of interest because it's only in Polish but some of the videos over there are exclusive like battle reports will be exclusive for the other channel because it's too much hassle uh, to translate battle reports to English and Google um, Google sorry YouTube is not smart enough to offer us a option to add another uh, audio layer on the video if, if that would be something that YouTube would be willing to do like you, you know like on DVD videos you would be able to change the video, uh, audio channel that would be awesome but so f for now they don't do not offer that they want to focus on 3d and some other shit that's completely useless for people sitting in front of a computer so anyhow uh, let's move on to the models themselves as you can see <clears throat> I've got a tight wall ramper painted up it took me actually very uh, short time to paint this uh, all in all I believe it took me like three or four days uh, just after work afternoons uh, that's all thanks to airbrushing uh, pre-shading and other techniques that I decided to use uh, the same techniques have been used on the hammerheads the hammerheads might look a bit scruffy when you look closer to them uh, into details but that's just because they are pre-owned I haven't bought I haven't assembled them these are not my builds I bought them on some websites on forums on groups and uh, I just painted them up. Um, so, uh, as you can see, the tile wall rampart is painted up with all the details. Uh, I've decided to use the yellow uh, just because I'm using this uh, yellow on other models in my army, uh, on certain elements like over here in the center. Uh, it might look a bit different than uh, on the video because this is a bit darker over here, but it's actually the same color with the same amount of layers. So, uh, so yeah. I try to paint as much detail, as many details as possible on, on these models. And there's some very cool thing I've done with the tile drum port, especially with the drum port. So if we move over here, you can see that I've magnetized the drum port. Uh, why? Because I can assemble the remaining bits for this section and use this as a normal gun port uh, instead of a drum port. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be playable in the game, because I haven't played the game with this yet, so it's just needs testing. If the drone port uh, proves to be very useful, I'm just going to glue them together and maybe just buy another gun port, uh, yes, gun port, um, later on, because they're quite cheap uh, if you buy them in uh, just a single model. So with the hammerheads, moving on to hammerheads, these are the models that I've painted to match the remains of my army. Uh, I've took me like two days to paint them all again in the afternoons. Uh, I tried to push as much as many details as possible, even with the small lights. Uh, come on, focus. Small lights over here, uh, small lights over there on the front. Uh, you know, glossy, gloss varnish on the lenses on the drones and on the visor on the front with some uh, layering done. It's nothing fancy, the paint job is not amazing, but you know, it's just a tabletop plus, maybe standard, uh, but some would consider it's just a tabletop standard. Uh, I like the overall look of the army and I prefer to paint, to play against the armies that are actually painted, at least on this level, uh, than to grey models or black models. So, the only other thing that I've done, uh, I've converted, well, I've converted, I've just used a normal... Uh, Hammerhead Commander, I think he is, as my long strike. I painted him as long strike, not to match my army. So he's painted in white overalls with the yellow, um, what is it? Viewing device. I'm not sure. <laughs> I forgot, completely forget the word for it. Uh, binoculars, sort of binoculars. Um, and that's I, I use this yellow over here just to add additional spot color to the vehicle, uh, so it just draws attention straight away. Um, so that's that. Uh, as you can see, there are plenty of blue accents uh, on the 
on the hammerheads as well, like energy stuff and the visors and some of the lenses. And that matches very well with the le uh, blue uh, energy fields on the uh, Tidal Trumpet. So please leave in the comments your opinions. What do you think? How do you like it? Uh, I think it came out pretty well. I'm very happy with the result. But I would like to see what you, I would like to read what you think about it. So leave your comments, subscribe if you haven't yet, and visit my Facebook page, my blogspot, and other media. I see you guys later and have a great time. Thank <laughs> you.